Guess what's back in the bag? Bomb tech. Let's do it now on JP Goff. <laughs> What is up everybody welcome back to the channel as always if you would like the video subscribe to the channel get down in the comments below i've got the bomb text back in the bag a lot of you guys have commented wanted to see me play those again so we're trying it not really what the video is about though what the video is about is grip size doesn't make a difference as you guys have seen lately i've really been struggling uh hitting balls to the left i feel like my hands are getting a little handsy uh so what i've done went to amazon bought some mid-size grips put them on my bomb text Let's see if that helps me, see if that straightens out my flight. I'm hoping it will. I'm here at Sherman Hills. I'm gonna play nine holes. I'm not really worried about score. I'm more worried about what does my flight look like? Uh, what does my shot uh, trace look like? So uh, we'll see. Again, I'd love to get that 42 I've been trying to get to, can't get to, but uh, again, not gonna worry about score as much as just trying to see if the uh, grips make any difference in the shot flight. All right, guys, so the par four first hole, tee shot right down the middle. Uh, didn't get a lot of run on the day. It did rain uh, heavy last night, so uh, balls are pretty much stopping where they're landing. But good tee shot, and this second shot, dead straight again. And I'm on the green, and I've got a birdie putt. So here we are, five or six feet for the birdie putt. And we drain it. We're on pace to shoot nine under. All right, guys, I could not have asked for a better start. Hit the drive into the fairway. Hit my iron shot. Five, six feet from the flag. Make the birdie putt. I have never, ever, ever been under par during a round of golf, even on the first hole. So I'm leaving the first hole, one under. Is it the grips making a difference? Get down in the comments below. Let me know. All right, so we are on to the par three second. And after playing a great first hole, I chunk the tee shot. So shot tracer didn't pick it up, but it is short, uh, just in front of the bunker to the right. So we got to pitch over the bunker and hit this one a little bit thin and rolls off the back of the green. So we get this little chip here. This would be for par. Not the best but give myself a look at a makeable bogey putt and we are able to make that and we are even through two so there goes that dream of shooting nine under through nine all right a little bit of dose reality there uh just hit the shot fat my club just stuck in the ground there on the par three uh tee shot and then Hit one thin over the top. Was able to make a uh, bogey putt though. Uh, so they able to save that. So we're now even through two holes. All right, so we're on to the par five and tee shot. A little bit over the top there. Uh, cuts back, but able to get it clear of that bunker out there. And then the second shot, I noticed here how far right I am set up, which is crazy. So um, ball ends up going where I want it down the fairway. The, forcing my body block the shot tracer but got to work on that alignment issue all right so here's our third shot and this is the first time i ended up going left like i've been trying to fight and hoping those grips would uh, alleviate a little bit so not as far left as i've gone before but they go left so i'm pitching back now and my pitch shot don't quite give it enough steam but do give myself a look at par so here is the par putt. And we're not able to make that. So here's a putt for bogey. And that's good. So we are one over through three holes. All right, we're on to the par for fourth hole. Another good drive. We are in the fairway. Can't complain with our driver swing. Second shot. Uh, get another one of those balls. Uh, a little bit left where 
I want to be. All right, there's the first shot. I went a little bit left where I wanted to be. Not as bad as I have been. Uh, I think I just maybe came to the top of that one, but didn't have that left and hook more left feeling. So let's see if the grips are making a difference. All right, so third shot here, pitching back over the cart path. And we're on the green. So we have a look at par. Not able to make the par putt. So this is for bogey. Miss that. And we're now three over through four holes after a double bogey. All right, so we're at the par four fifth. Uh, a little bit there of an over top swing, uh, but avoid the bunker and stay safely in the grass. And our second shot, again, that one goes left of where I'm looking to go. So a couple holes in a row there where I've hit that left shot. Third shot here, I'm pitching back over the bunker. Uh, make it over the bunker, but uh, hit a little bit harder than I wanted to. Ended up running over the green. So here is my par putt. Don't end up making that. And the bogey putt. And it's gonna be a double. All right, so the last couple of iron shots I have hit left, the grip hasn't helped me, however, there was a setup issue I'd been practicing on that I think would help me that I've been doing my driver, but I realized I kind of got away from doing my irons. So um, try that here, it's par five. Right now, I think we're at five over. Let's see, yep, five over. So um, got four more holes left, Let's see what we can do. All right, so our driver, again, kind of throw that club out to end. Uh, but we're safe, we're in the fairway. Second shot, and this is, fades on me a little bit, so I'm not used to hitting a fade here lately, so it's actually not too bad to see. Third shot, I'm on a side hill, and this is something I realize I need to work on. I've had this shot a couple times here lately, and every time I do that right there and hit it fat, so I've got to figure out hitting off that side hill. So advance a little bit, got a four shot in, have a wedge, and this is one of my better shots today. I am right at the flag. So the nice wedge shot gives us a really good look here to save par. But this is JP Guff. You guys know the drill. Think I'm gonna make the putt? Close, but it's a bogey. So we are six over through six. All right, so that's where we see a difference. If I had that third shot, had a wedge in my hand with a fourth, stuck it to five feet. Those are the shorter irons or sometimes where I struggle going left more than my longer irons. So um, glad to see that. I didn't make the putt, walk away with the bogey, but hey, did not go left. So the grips along that combination of something I'm trying to set up uh, seem to be working. So I'm happy about that. All right, so we're here at the par three and just come over the top and another left of left kind of shot. So again, pitching back up and actually hit a pretty good little pitch shot here. Give myself once again a chance at par. So here is a putt for par. And again, just missed another bogey. And we are seven over through seven holes. All right, on to the par four eighth. And this was about three yards from being perfect, but ended up uh, 
catching a side hill and running back down to this embankment. Uh, again, I'm on kind of a hill. Another shot I hit kind of fatty. Don't get the distance I want. So, another little pitch shot here. Once again, give yourself a look at par. Don't make that. So here is the putt for bogey. And it's a three putt. Not good. And we are on to the ninth hole. Another drive. Overall, a couple of little over the top swings, but overall, again, another pretty good day with the driver. Just to look at how much rain we got overnight. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not getting much run off any drives for sure. But um, of course, maybe playing a little bit longer than it usually does. So here's our second shot. And again, I uh, hit that one left. So grip seven completely getting rid of this. I actually end up in the green side bunker. You guys know how much I love my bunker shots. But this one is a good shot. And I thought it actually was going to go in the hole for a second. Just missed it, so we'll have a par putt coming back. And here is our par putt. Not the greatest camera work here, unfortunately. But I am able to make it. So I started with the birdie, and then with the par, in between. Some good, some bad, some ugly. All right, guys, so there we go. It's into that nine holes. I think I ended up shooting a um, nine over 45. Not best scoring wise, but wasn't about that. Uh, we're playing with clubs we haven't played with in a while brand new grips a putter i haven't used in a while and got some crazy rain last night so the course is playing a little bit longer than usual so all in all i haven't played since you guys saw me quit on video so it's been a little over a week so uh, again happy with what, what i shot um question of did the grips make a difference i didn't hit as to the left as much when i did it wasn't as far but i still had some of those swings so um still think it's work in progress I think with the grips along with some other swing changes will hopefully help me and uh, let's get on that quest. Still trying to break 90 for the first time. So uh, hopefully another breaking 90 will come soon. Uh, hope this is more uh, playing videos. Supposed to get down and play with Mike this weekend. Um, and Jonathan may be joining us. So maybe something there. So um, hopefully get some more on course videos. Keep it locked here till then on JP Guff. Mm -hmm.